it is indeed with great sadness that George Cohen, one of the remaining 1966 England World uh, Cup champions, um, uh, passed away. And it, that, uh, that, that sadness is amplified and made all the deeper by the fact that many of us in this chamber came to know George as a champion for Hammersmith and Fulham, and as he really said, Fulham. Um, as a young boy, he grew up in Fulham. He uh, joked with me when I met him, when we gave him freedom of the borough, that uh, when he moved from the house that he, he'd, he'd been born into to Burn Jones House on the West Kensington Estate, that uh, he thought the residents were posh because all the children had shoes. And I guess that story in itself indicates the background that someone would come from, but is also a historical snapshot of what it was for working class people in Fulham not too long ago. George, when he um, was given the freedom of the borough, gave an extremely moving speech about his wife, Daphne, who had helped him prove the cancer that had been a challenge for him prior to his status as a free person of Hammersmith and Fulham. And at the time we did that, it was the 50th anniversary of the England World Cup success. And uh, indeed, it was just before his 77th birthday. George Best described George Cohen as the best fullback he ever played against. And football is the national sport that brings our nation together um, and provides the material to chatter that forms the social life of much of our way of life. But the fact is, George Cohen was much more than an ex-England football player, ex-Fulham football player. He was a kid who came from a poor background and went on to conquer the world. He was a kid who came from Fulham and never stopped loving Fulham throughout his life. And he was a kid who came from Fulham, who won the World Cup, but then dedicated much of his time to cancer charities and to campaigning against dementia, something that blights many people's lives in later life. George Cohen wasn't just a footballing hero, he was a Hammersmith and Fulham hero, and a hero proud of England. And so to that point, we mourn his passing, send our deepest condolences and grief to his family, and I think look back on his life with pride that he was a Hammersmith and Fulham boy made good. Thank you.